we need to talk about the algorithm. My God, guys, there is so much misinformation about the algorithm out there. And I figured it was time for me to do a fresh video all about Instagram's algorithm. So if you've ever wondered, how does that thing work? This is the only video you need to watch. This video is sponsored by HubSpot, a bit more on them later. Oh, also guys, I always forget to ask you this, but if you enjoy content like this, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button because I upload new content every single week. Okay, so let's start with the basics. As we make our way through this video, I'm gonna be referring to two different groups of people. So we've got viewers. Those are the people who are just like on Instagram daily and who are looking at our content. And then we've got the creators. So that's myself, that's you guys. We are the ones who are creating the content on Instagram, hoping that the viewers will find it and love it, right? So we've got the viewers and then we've got the creators. So the main thing to be aware of when it comes to Instagram's algorithms, because yes, there are plural, we'll talk about that later. The main thing to know about Instagram's algorithms is the fact that they are designed to keep viewers on the platform for longer. That is the whole reason why the algorithms were introduced. So back in 2016, Instagram found that people were missing out on 70% of the content in their home feeds. So 2016 was the year when the algorithms were introduced. Before that, everything was chronological. And what Instagram realized was that there were more creators on the platform, which means there were more content on the platform, which means that the viewers were struggling to find the content that they really liked when feeds were chronological, or at least according to Instagram. So they decided to introduce the algorithms for the purpose of curating the viewer's home feed. So now when a viewer opens up Instagram, all of the content that they see is curated by the algorithms. So the algorithms dictate what content every single viewer sees on their home feed, on their explore page, on the reels tab when they're scrolling. They even dictate which stories they see first at the top of the screen, right? And again, the reason why they're doing this is because they're trying to ensure that the viewer sees the content that they enjoy the most first. And the reason why they're doing this is because when a viewer sees the content they enjoy the most first, they are more likely to stay on Instagram for longer, which is the ultimate goal of any social media platform. Now, the reason why I'm saying algorithms and not algorithm is because obviously I'm using the plural version. There are multiple algorithms. And the reason why is because data showed that we were interacting with the different features on Instagram in different ways. So apparently we look to our home feeds to see content from our friends and family, kind of similar to how we use our stories. But then when we go on the explore page, we're going there because because we're trying to discover new content from creators who maybe we don't follow already, right? So the way in which that we interact with these different features is different, which means that Instagram needed to develop an algorithm for each feature to ensure that the right content is being shown to us, right? So that's why there are multiple algorithms because they're all trying to do different things because we interact with the different features on Instagram in different ways. Now, one of the biggest things that I wanna make clear when it comes to the basics of the algorithm is the fact that it is changing every single day. It is constantly evolving. And the reason why is because it's constantly trying to get better by learning how we use Instagram. So it's constantly changing. And the reason why that's important to state is because quite often you will see content which says the algorithm's changed again. And I'm like, well, duh, it changes all the time. <laughs> it's always changing. Every now and then there'll be a significant change. There'll be a big change like when they brought back chronological feeds. So you can actually change your home feed to see content in chronological order now. It's not the default option, but you can actually change it if you want to right? Or when they introduced favorites or when they said, do you know what? We're only going to prioritize original content. So if your content is a repost, it might not perform as well. These are big changes that happen every few months. Outside of that, it is always changing. And I know that might be annoying to hear because you must be thinking, well, how do we keep up? The truth is the core principles of the algorithm, which we're about to dive into, remain the same. The other changes are super, super nuanced. And that means that some people will see the impacts of these changes and others won't. It's impossible to to track what the algorithm is doing every single day. Instead, what I recommend you do is pay attention to when a big change happens. And if you're wondering how you're gonna know when a big change happens, just subscribe to this channel and I will tell you. <laughs> All right, so before we dive into the details of the algorithm, I do wanna tell you about a free resource that you're gonna absolutely love. This resource is 22 Instagram templates for business and it's brought to you completely free of charge by HubSpot. Now, Instagram can be very complex as I'm sure you're guessing already just from the first part of this video. So it's important that we utilize different resources to make the whole process of us managing our Instagram accounts as easy as we possibly can. This is why I wanted to talk to you about this resource because it's literally gonna give you templates that you can drag and drop and use for your Instagram content. In terms of what templates are included in this pack, well, you'll have 14 templates for your Instagram posts, 
eight templates for your Instagram stories and nine templates specifically dedicated to quotes. Now, what I love about the quotes templates is they're a really easy way for you to create valuable content for your audience. If you don't know already, one of the most valuable types of content you can create is inspirational content. And sharing quotes either from yourself or from historical figures, as long as you credit them, is an amazing way for you to inspire your audience with ease. So that's where those templates are gonna come in super, super handy. So if you're looking for a way to create Instagram content with ease and make sure that it's impactful, it's valuable and it's well designed, then you're going to want to check out these free templates. Of course, the link is in my description. All right, so let's dive a little bit deeper into how the algorithm works, but also how it doesn't work. So head of Instagram, Adam Missouri, actually uploaded a video recently where he talks about how the algorithm works. And it's really interesting because a lot of the comments are like, oh my God, I'm so glad you're finally talking about this. But in reality, this information has been available on Instagram's blog for over a year. So I'll put a link to the blog post and also to Adam Missouri's video in case you want to do a little bit more learning after this one. But in a nutshell, how the algorithms work is by using different signals to try and pair the creator's content, that's you and me, with the right viewer. This is a really important thing to be aware of because there's millions of pieces of content shared on the platform on a regular basis. It's no longer just about Instagram finding the most popular creators and just pushing their content. It's now about finding great creators and pushing their content to the right viewer. Okay, they have to pair the two people together. Now, as I mentioned, they use different signals to try and do this. So let's break down what those signals are. Now, one of the most important signals is information about the creator's content. So that post that you just shared, the reel, the carousel, whatever it is. So Instagram's algorithms will look at your post to try and figure out a few different things. For example, it will try and figure out how high quality the post was. So if it's a video, is it a clear video? Does it take up the whole screen? That kind of stuff. It's also going to look at how popular it was, how many people engaged with that post when you shared it. It's also going to try and figure out what that post is about because again, it's trying to share that post with the right viewer. So it's looking for clues to figure out which viewer should see that post. So for example, let's say it was about fashion. It's going to look at the post itself. It will detect if clothing was mentioned or even focused on in that video or photo. It will look at your caption and your hashtags to figure out, okay, are they talking about fashion in their captions and their hashtags? And if it decides that post is about fashion, it's really high quality we like it, it will hopefully share your post with a viewer who is interested in fashion. So not just any viewer, but a viewer who's interested in fashion. Okay. The second signal it looks at is information about the creator. So you, me, the person who just shared that post, it's going to look at information about us. So in this case, it's mainly looking at our previous content and how much engagement our channel normally gets. This is where consistency comes in handy, because if we are creating content and sharing it consistently on our Instagram channel, then there's loads of proof to the algorithm that people like our content and they engage with our stuff quite frequently. Last but certainly not least, this signal is about the viewer interaction history. So this is kind of where the two different parties merge. So now the algorithms are looking at how often the viewer interacts with you and me, the creator. If you two send DMs to each other, guess what? Your content's probably going to be shared to that viewer when you post it. If you two comment on each other's content, if you engage with each other in any way, then there's a bigger chance that your content is going to appear on the viewer's explore page or on their home feed because there's a relationship there. And that is why people often talk about engaging with your audience and how important it is because the algorithms are looking at it. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you to spend hours engaging with people just for the sake of it, because I don't believe in doing that either. Just remember that Instagram is a social media platform. So being social won't hurt you. <laughs> so that's how the algorithm does work, but how doesn't it work? Now, there are two things that people often think about the algorithm that are misconceptions and haven't necessarily been proved. Now, the first one is the idea around shadow banning. This is basically when someone believes that Instagram is purposely restricting the reach of their content. Now, what's important to know about this is if you break Instagram's guidelines, I will put a link to their guidelines in the description to this video, then there is a very big chance Instagram will restrict the reach of your post. That is completely true. However, if you have not broken the guidelines, but you are experiencing a dip in your reach, it's probably not because you've been shadow banned. And I think that's where the misconception lies. We see a dip in our reach and we think, well, we're obviously being punished, but actually there are so many other reasons why there might be a dip in our reach. It might be one of the several micro changes to the algorithm that happens every single day. It might also be a change in your audience and the type of content that they prefer. It might be your content itself and maybe, hate to, hate to break it to you, maybe it's not hitting like it used to. There are so many different reasons, right? What I recommend you do is check out Instagram's community guidelines, but also you can now actually check your account status. I'll put a screen recording on the screen so you can see how you do this. You can check your account status and it will tell you point blank whether or not you are in trouble and you've 
broken a guideline. If it says that your status is fine, then you can rest assured that if there's a dip in your reach, it's not because you're being shadow banned. The other common misconception, and this one has been around for so long, is that Instagram will purposely restrict your reach. So the algorithm will be purposely restricting the reach of your content if you have a business account and you don't pay for ads. So it's basically this idea that Instagram are purposely restricting your reach because it wants you to invest your money into getting advertising with them, right? Now, the reason why I'm saying this is a misconception, and I'm sure there'll be people in the comments who'll be like, I disagree with you. But the reason why I'm classifying this as a misconception is because the head of Instagram has come out multiple times and said that this is point blank not true. Now, I know people lie, do not get me wrong, but surely a company as big as Instagram can't come out and just lie about something like that. Like surely they couldn't lie about that because then if they got caught, couldn't they be sued or something? If there's any lawyers watching, can you let me know in the comments? Because I thought that's how that worked. So if that's the case, I'm inclined to believe him because surely it'd be more risky for them to lie about it. Okay, so let's wrap up with a few tips based on all the information I just told you about the algorithm. The number one tip is to not fall for any scaremongering and know that the algorithm changes on a daily basis. And instead of stressing over the algorithm, I want you to focus more on your audience and creating content for them. I also believe that engaging with your audience in a way that's authentic and doesn't take over your life will put you in good standing when it comes to the algorithm too. Also, posting consistently will mean that the algorithms will look at you as a creator and see that you get a lot of interactions and engagement. So that might help you get a bit of a boost too. And lastly, ensure you're creating original content and check out the guidelines below to ensure that you don't break them and end up being shadow banned. All right, guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please let me know in the comments if you did. I really recommend that you watch this video next. It's all about how you can create an Instagram strategy in five minutes. So it's super detailed, but super speedy. And it's perfect for anyone who doesn't feel like they have their Instagram strategy nailed. Do not forget to check out HubSpot's free resource via the link in my description. Thank you so much for watching as always. I can't wait to see you in my next video.